very good morning. Today, we are going to see a problem on Thevenin's uh, theorem. Take down this problem. Develop a Thevenin's equivalent circuit or the circuit shown across the terminals E and B. So here, the voltage source is given 12 volts and again, resistance is given 6 ohms and again, the current source is given. Again, some resistance is given. So here, they asked uh, that there are two terminals, A and B, the load resistance is given as 1 ohms. So we need to find out uh, what is the current, current this particular circuit. First, first step a solution to the theorem. First, we need to find out the RDH. For finding out the RDH, first we need to open circuits to the that is low distance, we need to open circuit. And uh, uh, voltage sources, uh, we need to short circuit and current sources, we need to open circuit. As two or uh, more pairs is here, so we need to open circuit this uh, two pairs and the uh, voltage source here, we need to short circuit. So, the circuit is modified up. Now the voltage source is short circuited and the current source here is, is open circuited. So from here we need to find out the RTH. So here in this circuit, this 6 and 6 ohms are in series and by that 6 ohms are, which is in the parallel with the board. Say for example, what is the 6 and 6 ohms are series means it is a 12, uh, so 12 and 4 ohms are in parallel. So 12 into 4 divided by 12 ohms. That is nothing but your RTH. So RTH is nothing but so while well, simplifying, we will get the RTH as three ohms. So again, <coughs> if you see the circuit here, we need to find out the V term. So this is the circuit that is 12 ohms is there, six ohm is there, here uh, uh, two amperes is there. Again, six uh, ohm is there, and again four ohms, six ohm is there, is there. So here. We are applying the good lines. So here, if you are applying the good here, this current is traveling around this direction. And if this current is coming here, this current we are taking this I1, this current we are taking this I2. Okay. So here, what we are doing is by using the nodal analysis. Uh, so here, uh, we are applying the nodal analysis. So V minus, so V, so what is V? So if this point is V. Okay. V e minus 12 divided by 6. V e minus 12 divided by 6. Okay. This, uh, v, this point is V. Let's say this point is V. Okay. So, this, uh, so V e minus 12 divided by 6. That is the first question. Uh, Next is, yeah. Next is, yeah, V e minus 12. Next is V e by 10. So here, if you see this two, uh, six ohms and four ohms are serious. So this, uh, this voltage is zero. Okay. This voltage, this voltage is, we are considering this voltage as zero. So this voltage is zero. So here, um, B, uh, here, this point is V. So V minus uh, zero by this thing. Okay. That is uh, what that is written here. Yeah. So V minus zero divided by 10. Because this voltage we are considering as zero. Okay. This voltage at this point we are considering as zero position. So V minus zero, this voltage is zero. So V minus zero divided by 10. 10 means 6 and 4 are in uh, series. So equal to 2 amp. So 2 amp is coming inside. So coming inside we can take this equal to 2. Okay. So um, this uh, uh, this we are simply by taking the LCM and simply by uh, so LCM we are taking 60. So uh, 10 into V minus 1 plus uh, here 6 into V is equal to 2 into 60. So uh, for this 60 V is equal to 40. So V OC or VTH that is uh, open circuit voltage or the mean voltage is nothing but 15 volts. So here by taking VTH as 15 volts, so here uh, RTH, what is RTH uh, here? Yeah, RTH is 3 ohms. RTH is 3 ohms what automatically we calculated. So whatever the uh, Thevenin voltage we calculated, uh, so RTH we have to take series and uh, load resistance we have to target the series with that RTH. So this is what. So now we need to find out the, what is the current flowing, load current, uh, what is the load current flowing here. That is uh, across this uh, A and B term. So this we are 
uh, considers A, this point we are considers A, and this point we are considers B. So across this A and B, so this is R, RL. Uh, so first we open circuit. So RL is one ohms. So we need to find out what is the load current in this particular. So load current is nothing but uh, uh, I is equal to B by R. So B is uh, 15 divided by this two are connected in series. So 3 one plus 1 is 4. Okay. So that you need to add. So here if you add, you will get I is equal to 3.75. So the total current flowing uh, in this determinant is I is nothing but 3.75 amperes. Thank you.